right, everybody, we're back again with the S9 Plus. This time we're gonna do it on the high power mode, which some of you have requested. Uh, I put down one more pound of rice, exactly like the other way. Uh, the bag is completely empty, the bin is empty. And really the only difference is I put it, moved it over to that wall instead of that wall. Because for some reason this one, was, the pattern it made last time was just so crazy and out there that I'm thinking maybe it's something to do with the wall it was on. I don't know. We'll see with this test. But one full pound of rice. Last time I got, I remember I had 10.2 ounces total, which is decent. But I think on high power, we're gonna, we might even see close to that whole pound. Because you could really hear the difference when it goes. So, All right, so I had it on uh, quiet clean. We're going to do detail clean, which uh, makes a big difference in the suction. And then it's fully charged, the bin is empty, and we're just gonna click clean. All right, hopefully this does a really good job. I'm thinking it will. And I really hope it does the normal line pattern like, like it used to. I don't know why it was so sporadic last time, but we'll see. You can really hear the suction now much louder than last time. So I expect this to get, without a doubt, more than the, uh, see, what it did there too, it's like, there might be something wrong with this robot, or, no, I think it's the high pile carpet, I really think it's the thicker carpet, because when that blue light comes on, it's supposed to detect what's under it and go back and forth over it a few times, and as you see there, more like, turned, and you'll probably see that a couple times in this clip. And it looks quite slow, so I'm not really sure what we're gonna expect here. I don't know why it's already driving like this, but even though it was sporadic last time, it, you could tell by the carpet pattern that it went over every inch. So we'll just have to see how it does. So I'm gonna let this thing run. Last time it took over an hour. So I'm probably gonna give it about an hour if that's how long it wants, or until the battery dies. And then we'll see how it did. Because remember, the i7 Plus did it in, in uh, 45 minutes to 50 minutes, something like that. So. So let's let this guy go and do whatever it wants to do. It has no maps right now. And I literally just hit clean and that's it, so. It, it looks like it doesn't understand what's going on right here. It really is weird. I think, I really think it's this carpet. So, I, so before bringing this down here, I ran it on my normal carpet upstairs, just with normal debris. And it seemed to be working fine with the pattern. See there how the blue light came on? Instead of backing up and forward three or four times, it just kind of turned and kept going. So I really think it's having trouble with this carpet. So you can see over there, I might do a quick test on that white carpet. That's just a normal lower, lower profile carpet and see if it messes up on that. Cause this thing's struggling, you can tell. All right, I'm gonna let this run and do its thing, and then I will be back when I either get an alert, an hour passes, or it tells me that it's done. Hopefully it does a good job. So here I really, really, really think it's the uh, high pile carpet that's really messing up this robot. I have never seen the S9 or any Roomba drive so crazily as you see it does throughout this entire cleaning job. Now, with that being said, it might look crazy, but if you watch it, it does cover basically the entire carpet. And at the end, you're going to see some results that might surprise you. So stay tuned and uh, watch all the way to the end, and we'll see if this thing actually does a better job than it did before, and if it can actually beat the i7 that pretty much smoked it the last test. By the way, please like and subscribe, and I hope you enjoy this video.
All right, so we are at 52 minutes total for this test. So I don't usually run this on a high power. Actually, it's my first time. So the battery, of course, drained a lot quicker than I thought. So it's recharging now. It didn't say it was done. However, looking at the pattern on the ground, the carpet, looks like it pretty much ran over everything. Let's go grab the bag. I'll probably kind of be able to tell just by pulling the bag out. But the carpet, I don't see many pieces on top at all. I'm sure there's plenty down in the carpet, but it's looking pretty good from here. Yeah, that, that's, that's quite a bit of rice in here. Let's see if I can show you by grabbing it. Sorry, one-handed. So that, that's all rice in there. So you know what, let's go ahead and weigh this right now. <clears throat> so the bag itself weighs 1.4 ounces. Uh, it's got 10.4 ounces with the low suction power. <laughs> yes, yeah, suck is spelled wrong, but and then high power is this test. So let's find out real quick. So we'll have to take away 1.4 ounces from this. Oh, oh my God, look at that. A little bit over a pound. So it got all the rice. Wow, I actually kind of wasn't expecting that. Huh. I wasn't really expecting that one. So right there, we might as well conclude the test. It, everybody, th everybody knew it was gonna get more, but the fact that it got an entire pound, which is what I put down, I'm sure there was still a little bit left in the carpet, deep down from the previous test, but I did run the Dyson over it and sucked up as much as I could with that. So that's really quite impressive. Wow. Way to go, S9+. Plus. I honestly did not expect that. What do you guys think? High power, man. That's a lot more suction. So Mustard really was able to suck all the rice from, you know, deep down into the carpet, so... Good job, S9 Plus. Um, I'll have to watch the video as I edit to see the pattern it took, because it looked kind of like it was all over the place again, but it did go over the entire carpet, so I guess it's not a bad thing. So, that's right on there. 16 ounces. Wow, awesome, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments what you think about that test. Uh, I'm going to do the same test with, I'm going to do the Persenic M7 Pro versus the Roborock S5. But obviously I can't do a pound because neither one can handle a pound. So I'll, I'll probably fill up the S5, the bin, as much as I can get with rice. See how much that weighs and then do that type of test. All right, please like and subscribe if you like this video. I do videos like this all the time. Uh, lots of different tests with lots of different robots. So stick around and check out a few more of my videos. Thanks again. Have an awesome day. See ya.